What's going on, Backend Warriors? In this video, I'm going to share with you how easy it is to add tracking codes, tracking pixels, or even attach third-party applications to your backend website. Applications such as Google Analytics, Live Chat, or even Social Proof to build urgency. So let's go ahead and jump right in. To access where you can actually add your custom code to your website, we're going to hover over to where we see website settings. Here at the top, we see custom code. Here you're able to add different styles of code, whether it be for your head markup, custom CSS styling, even the body markup. And these go for your entire website. Now, if you wanted to narrow it down to only just the page, you would also be able to edit the CSS styling directly for this specific page. Of course, add for your head markup or add anything to your body markup. Now, normally whatever platform uh, that you're gonna be integrating, it normally gives you the instructions on where they're gonna want you to actually paste that piece of code. So for an example, we're going to add a Google tag as well as a Facebook pixel that we're going to receive. Now, you would actually have to go into Google Analytics and or Facebook to receive these codes. But what I'm going to do is going to pull them here from my notes. I'm going to grab here first a Facebook pixel. I'm going to paste that here from line one. I'm going to hit enter here. I'm going to grab my Google tag as well. Place it in, paste it there. After I paste those in, I'm just gonna click save. And now those tracking pixels are now live on my site. Now there are Google extension uh, tools that allow you to actually see those tracking pixels run live. But for the sake of this training, you've now made your tracking pixels live. Now another area that you can add third-party applications would be website settings, applications, here, add application. We have various different direct integrations that you'll be able to attach directly to your backend site. Many of these are for email automation tools. Again, as you can see, like MailChimp, AWeber, and ActiveCampaign. But here, you also have a direct integration with Facebook Pixel. So if we were to click Connect, it's here going to ask for our Facebook Pixel. We're going to grab that code here from our Facebook Pixel here. Copy this, paste that in, hit save and verify. And here we're also going to be, as you can see, we're also connecting our Facebook pixel. Now, there's also another way that you can actually add any type of custom code to your website by using the custom code widget. So here we can slide over to the left sidebar, click add widget. I'm going to scroll down. We're going to pull the custom code widget. Here, as you can see the same, we can paste any of that snippet of code. So if we have any um, visual snippets we want to add in, and of course, this can be iframe, JavaScript, HTML, or again, any type of CSS styling that you'd like to display here on your website. So again, it'd be the same if we wanted to add the Google tag or a Facebook pixel. Now, I wouldn't recommend placing your Facebook pixel or your Google tag in this particular box. Definitely prefer that you place it in your, your header tags. But as you can see the same, you'll be able to paste any of your custom code directly here in the box for your source code. Now, another location that you can actually place uh, any type of code would also be uh, for your funnels. So you may want to add Google Analytics tags or even Facebook uh, tracking pixel tags directly to your funnel for more defined or more refined tracking. So we're going to click Funnels here on the left side. I'm going to click our gear option. Click Show Settings. I'm going to discard any changes from now. And here on the custom funnel code, of course, the same as your page. You're able to add custom head markups, custom CSS styling, as well as custom body markups. So the same if you wanted to add a Facebook pixel directly uh, to our funnel. We'll click within the custom head markup, and we're going to paste in our Facebook pixel and click Save. So now any of our visitors or any actions that's taken within our funnel will also be tracked directly using Facebook Pixel and or uh, Google Tag, whichever uh, pick, uh, snippet of code we actually choose to use. And there you have it, Backend Warriors. In this video, we've covered how you can easily connect any third-party application as well as add any type of tracking codes or snippets of code to better customize and track your website and funnel. Thank you for watching and look forward to the next video.